What's up, YouTube? It's Mike, Sticks and Seams, and hope everybody's having a good new year so far. This is going to be my top 23 Griffey pickups for 2023. Uh, and at the end, I will show my favorite of the pickups for Hugo over at Signs of the Past Time. He wanted to see our top pick of the year, so I want to show some support there. Uh, in retrospect, I had a great year. I was able to pick off a lot of Griffies on my most wanted list that shrunk down. Um, I don't put the big heavy hitters on my most wanted list because those are just kind of grail. Maybe I'll get those type of things. So I definitely try and build a list of things I can actually go after. And uh, I think I did pretty well this year. So I'm going to hop into it. Uh, this first one here is from Donruss Fan Club. This is the Fantasy Team. Um, the die cut variation, as you can see, the stars on the sides. Uh, stated print run is to 2000, but I believe it's the first 500 that have this die cut action. It's, a, it's actually a really nice card. Then we have uh, the Ionix Warp Zone. Not a huge fan of this card for whatever reason, but it definitely is one that every, every player collector needs if you got your guy in it. So pick that one up earlier in the year. Uh, one of my favorite pickups of the year, this 2000 Skybox Dominion. This is the Ion October. Uh, one of the variations here, uh, if you see the that silver is almost like stainless, uh, and it is the EO Plus variation. So this card does not come up often, and I really love the image, and I was stoked to have that one. Uh, another simple design here, Donra Signature Series. This is the Signature Proof. Really cool card, though, and a stated print run of, what, 250 down there? So that was a nice one to add. This was a rescue mission from a local thrift stop. They had a few cards, and I looked through and found this Collector Choice Big Shots, but what makes this one special, it's the gold signature variation. So definitely welcome addition to the collection. I also like the image on that, the cool with him signing autographs. I should count up how many Griffey cards I have of him with his hat backwards. There's actually quite a few. Let's see. I'll hop over here. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know, I consider this like a Frankenstein card, but it's 98 Fleer Ultra, the Diamond Producers here. And uh, it's got die cut and refractorage and wood and felt. It's just kind of a bizarre design to the card. And it's super condition sensitive because of all of this. But uh, got to gotta add it. I was going for that Fleer Ultra run. Uh, this is a card that has eluded me forever. And I finally got the right one. 97 Fleer, the Soaring Stars. And this is the non-star foil variation. As you can see, there are no stars. So that was uh, relocated to a small uh, number in the print run. The Fleer had ran out of that star foil. So uh, this is uh, one of my biggest pickups towards the end of the year. 97 Fleer, the Diamond Tribute. Love this card. I think there were like 1 in 288 packs, something like that. But a beautiful card that went bananas during the pandemic and has regressed back down to a more comfortable price for me. Uh, let's hop into some game used here. I got these as a package deal. I had already had one, but I just couldn't pass up these patch breaks. I thought they were amazing. And they're from Premier Patches, Upper Deck, of the Cincinnati Kid. There you go. Uh, but I just love those patch breaks. I thought they were great. They're both numbered to 89. Um, but, uh, like I said, just some unique Griffey patches. And I like them in the red uniform in, in that product. Upper Deck did a good job of design and color matching with the red. So their cards typically pop. Then we got Ultimate. This is the Ultimate Super Patch of Griffey. And uh, number to 20. Yeah, the patch is blase. It's just like a letter from one of the red batting practice jerseys. But, um... Anytime you can pick up a Griffey Super Patch number to 20 for what I got that for, it was a win. Uh, Christmas present this year, if you watched that video from my wife, the 05 Reflections, Dual Auto, Billy Williams, and King Griffey Jr. Another very nice card. Excited to have that. 05 Reflections and Artifacts were some of my favorite uh, products that came out. Then uh, this, I had to rectify the... Um, 
I, I couldn't believe I didn't have this. 94 Gold Leaf Stars, a card that I chased as a kid, heavy, and opened tons of product, never pulled one, even though 10,000 stated, you know, odds there. 10,000 in the 90s was uh, obviously more scarce than one would think. Let's see what else we got here. Save that one. I got some graded ones here. Uh, 99 Upper Deck Encore. The FX Gold. This is one of those sneaky cards here. It's got a really nice foil finish on the front. And it is serial numbered 125. That's, uh, that's a good one there. Haven't shown these two off yet, so no time like the present. 99 Pacific Crown Collection in the Cage. Beautifully designed card by Pacific. It's just freaking awesome. I love it. Uh, and considering how delicate it is... They hold up pretty well, so it's just a well-designed card. This next one, um, I didn't even know it existed. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Then I saw a couple auctions, and, and whoa, I, I really had to want this card. I had a lot of competition. 97 Leaf, statistical standout. Uh, that glove would actually fold open here. And what makes this one special is the bookend. So it's a thousand of a thousand. So... Nice, unique feature from a PC. Uh, this is a sneaky card. 99 Top Stars, the Supernova. It's the foil variation. Uh, and uh, these cards were serial numbered to 199, but they're tough to pick up because they were stamped, but not foiled. So sometimes those things slip through the cracks. A couple more here. Three, and then the big one. Well... My favorite one. 98 Finest. This is the Stadium Stars. I highly recommend you go after this card. I really love this card. Uh, mine has the peel on it still. But uh, they're they're tough to get. A lot of competition. People love these cards. And considering they were not, the pack odds were not astronomical. Uh, but it's a cool card nonetheless. Then I got here, arguably one of my favorite Griffey autos in my collection. And for those of you who... Grew up in the 90s, ripping collector's choice. You remember getting this redemption card for the home run all-stars, the gold signature. And signed beautifully in the hologram is King Griffey Jr. So I uh, love the image. Again, hat backwards, but um, one of my favorite autos in my collection of Griffey. This one here, just because I had to, I never got a Tiffany Tops traded. I never got a Bowman Tiffany rookie, and their prices are like really high. So who knows if I ever will. So I had to get something, and I was able to pick up the 89 Fleer Glossy. And this one's in a Beckett holder. It's an 8, but, uh, you know, I just really wanted to get an example of the card. So I was excited to add that one. And last but not least, a card that I hunted for three years. And they didn't come up that frequently, only a handful of times a year. And people were going nuts after them. So it's from 1997, New Pinnacle. Yes, it was a New Pinnacle product. And this is the Artist Proof. I know I'm not doing it justice, but this is their typical Dufex technology in emerald green. This card's just insane. I know the image is a little... Different, uh, but I like that. Just something unique, different to this card. Um, it's just the back here. Hugo, this was my favorite pickup of 2023, and I just want to congratulate you on your channel. Uh, so that's it, everybody. Those are my top 23 Griffey pickups of 2023. And until next time, collect what you love.